Today I want to tell you the story of Rebecca Hedman. Rebecca was a young girl living in Spokane, Washington, whose parents thought she was out of control. And she was. She had major issues with truancy. Truancy has been associated with a number of very negative outcomes, including suspension, school dropout, arrests, or even death, as was the case with Rebecca. On October 17, 1993, Rebecca was found murdered in a park in Spokane. She was 13 years old. In the face of such a tragedy, Washington legislation enacted a bill, commonly called the Becca Bill, after Rebecca, that attempted to curb these truancy issues by empowering parents and schools to try to rein in these truant youth. However, 20 years later, we still have major issues with truancy. 12 to 14 percent of high school students will have 10 or more unexcused absences per year. So the question becomes, what can we do next? That's where my work is coming in. I'm focused on what's called the WARNS, or the Washington Assessment of the Risks and Needs of Students. This is a tool that enables counselors and the court system to identify the risks and needs of particular youth. These include things, behaviors such as substance abuse, depression, aggression. And while it is a fantastic tool, there are some issues, specifically in the fact that they attempt to classify kids as being high risk, low risk, or medium risk, without necessarily providing the justification needed to do so. That is what I'm doing. I utilized an advanced statistical methodology to identify three groups that exist within the data. As you can see on my slide, on, the, on your right side, these groups don't just differ by level, but also by pattern. The high and medium groups share some similarities, but also are greatly different in terms of their substance abuse. This gives us clues as to what might be driving the high group's increased chance of arrests or suspension. Moreover, it gives us an opportunity to identify what kind of interventions might best suit or help these kids. And that's the main goal here. It's to identify what interventions will help and how we can best match the needs of our kids to those interventions, such that parents, teachers, have that ability to do that on the fly. And hopefully, we can reduce truancy and the associated negative outcomes, so we can reduce and hopefully eliminate those tragedies such as it occurred to Rebecca. Thank you.